am Jocelyn. I had an abortion in Des Moines, Iowa in 2002. So that morning at seven o'clock in the morning, we entered the Planned Parenthood. We were immediately asked for payment. The other people in the room were crying, they're upset. It's dark, dirty, all of the furniture is very old and outdated and the seats were all in a U shape. So you had no choice but to see everyone else that was sitting there. There was a couple that sat in the corner crying to each other. There was another woman sitting by herself, looked like she had a very rough life. Then it was time for me to go back for my abortion. No one talks to you, no one comforts you, no one explains anything to you. There was no discussion of options. There was no discussion of community resources to help me if I wanted to parent. There was no um, suggestion of adoption. They did an ultrasound. I wondered why, you know, why were they were even doing an ultrasound because I was under the impression that there was no baby there yet. Um, I was very confused and, and did not fully understand the procedure. They said it would be mild cramping. That is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. They say it only lasts about 10 minutes. It felt like an hour of hell. He didn't talk, he muttered to the other staff. And when he was done, he just left. My partner at the time was bawling. This is a grown man, bawling. Afterwards, we were led to a recovery room, which was just a small room with chairs, armchairs. And they said, after a while, they would check and make sure that our bleeding was okay and then we could just leave. No aftercare, no follow-up. And I didn't, it, it took a while, you know, to, to realize uh, what had happened. And um, I tried to convince myself for a long time that, that it was okay. you'll find that the abortion affects all sorts of areas of your life. It affects the way that you parent your other children. Um, I had a very difficult time bonding with the daughter I already had after my abortion. I had a very difficult time bonding with the child I had after my abortion. Um, I became pregnant right away. Drug use has been a struggle for many years. I don't feel comfortable or trust doctors. I don't feel comfortable even when it's probably needed. I certainly don't seek out dental care, specifically because the machines that are used in the dentist office, the suction, the sound of the machines, puts me right back at that day. And I can't, I, it's, I can't even go to have a cleaning done um, because it's, it's that traumatic. There's absolutely no reason to go to a Planned Parenthood. There are so many community resources now that can help you uh, get to a real doctor and receive prenatal care. There are resources to help you financially, spiritually, even if it's just finding a safe home if you're not in a place that's, that's safe. My husband works really hard. He works 40 hours a week and we live paycheck to paycheck. To know that my husband's hard-earned money goes to fund an organization that has destroyed my life and the lives of thousands of women, in addition to destroying children in the womb, is repugnant, and it makes me sick. I'm a one-issue voter. This has affected my entire life, not just my life, but other members of my family, other women in my family that have had abortions. This has affected our family so broadly, this can't be political anymore. These are people's lives. And I've been voting for pro-life politicians since I've been able to vote, and I need to see action. People are hurting. People's lives are being destroyed. It's time to defund Planned Parenthood.